Hey! I moved to Memphis, Tennessee. I did it because I got offered an assistantship for my DMA in classical saxophone. Now a lot of you are like, why are you doing classical saxophone? I have my own reasons for it, okay? And I can't freaking wait. But by no means does that mean I'm not going to practice jazz anymore. I'm gonna be playing jazz every day. Well, anyway, this room is still coming together as you can see. I need some sound panels. It's very echoey in this room. Check it out. Very echoey. I like how it sounds, honestly, but it's probably not the most optimal for video. So I hope you will allow it this one time. Anyway, so I've had this video idea in my mind for a long time. So every time I'm listening to music and there's a line, I'm like, holy crap, what was that? I need to know what that was. I'll screen record that line and put it into my Licks I Wanna Transcribe album. So I'm gonna be honest, I forgot everything that's in here and I'm not always consciously aware when I'm listening to music, but I got plenty. So what I'm gonna do for this video is take about three to five Licks and we're gonna figure it out together and then we're gonna analyze it, see what's going on. What makes this video possible is today's sponsor. Skillshare. All right, I'm gonna click a random one. All right. I remember that one. Okay, so here's an app I use to transcribe. It's called Audio Stretch. I'm not sponsored by them. They have no idea who I am. And this app is great. All right, so video library. So I'm in my video library. I find that. Which one was that? Fathead Newman. Now I'm just gonna download from iCloud. Choose, compressing the video. And voila, now it's in there. So let's see what's going on here. Okay. Dun da da. Okay, we take those. Da little that line though. I did a really grace noted C. We take those. All right, so let's go ahead and write it down so I don't forget it. I'd like to randomly come back to this maybe months later. You'd be like, ah, oh, lines. You ever buy a book of lines and like you like maybe like 20% of them? Doesn't that kind of suck? Imagine a book where you liked 100% of the lines that you read. That's kind of what we're doing for myself. Okay, so transcription and ideas. Okay, it looks like the last thing I transcribed here was Edgar on one of my originals. That'll come out later. All right, so I'm going to make a new page. That is a lot of words. One, bo da bo da da bo do da bo da do. Da triple ba. Alrighty, here it is. Da 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 Let's play it one more time. Next. All right, let's click this one. Does sound really cool. We're definitely about to transcribe that right now. So this is good old Sam Greenfield. Absolutely love this guy's point. Every time he posts on Instagram, I'm like, oh! all right. So let's see what's going on. Ah, okay. 
okay. And then I assume he's doing all that in the other keys as well. I'm not going to show you me practicing the rest in other keys as this video would be very long if I did that. All right, now let's go ahead. God, I hate when that happens. So let's go ahead and write it out. Yes. All right. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, let me hurry up. Thank you, Sam Greenfield. You're freaking crazy and you're intimidating, honestly, because you are very handsome and amazing at saxophone. When I think of you, I feel like a shrimp. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and knock one more out. Ah, okay, I remember this one. The after you've gone solo, bro. First of all, I've been meaning to transcribe the entire solo by Patrick Bartley, but I just took lessons with Patrick Bartley, and honestly, I feel like I don't even deserve to transcribe his solo. And oddly enough, this isn't Patrick Bartley on this recording. This is actually the solo after him, Bruce Harris. And everyone talks about Patrick Bartley's solo, and you know, rightfully so, it's an amazing solo. But I also really like Bruce Harris's solo. He he did something in here, and I, I love the way he resolves this line. And I was like, I have to learn that. I love it. What is that? What is that? And then. Just. I mean, if you slow that down, I'm gonna play it now. cadence if you slow it down it just sounds classical and yeah I have a classical background I like things that sound kind of classical and I I kind of doubt he's thinking oh let me play a classical little thing here and this probably wouldn't even consider this a classical thing but for whatever reason it reminded me of something classical and I was like no let me put this in my photo album so let's go ahead and figure out what he's doing <laughs> Okay, there it is. Now I'm going to check if any of those notes changed. deceptively hard honestly there was a lot of notes i was like uh, 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 uh and then the scrubbing in some cases actually made it more confusing because you it would capture some of the imperfections like the note would bend right on the tippy end so i was like wait is this a chromatic pitch and then i'll listen to it in the normal speed i'm like i don't hear that chromatic pitch anywhere but then i listen to it again really close and it's like mm, you know mm. so i'm like okay it's not a real chromatic pitch it's just one of the imperfections of the horn but this is what i got All right, 
let's go ahead and write that one down. So that looks rather complete to me. So we got three new licks in our brain and written down, which is the permanent brain. Because my brain is very forgetful. That concludes part one of lick hunting. We have successfully hunted down three licks. And I feel like I learned a lot, especially that last one. My freaking leg is itching. Something's been biting me. Alrighty, this video was made possible by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community made up of members from over 150 different countries. If you genuinely want some seriously educational content of whatever skill that you want to learn, you instantly have access to thousands of topics. Topics such as mastering productivity, mastering Adobe Photoshop, mastering video editing. I've been noticing more than ever that lighting is the most important factor in terms of a good video quality. So I've been checking out the course by Jordy Vandiput. I hope I'm saying that right where he's talking about how to properly light up your shot and it's really been helping a lot. Or if I didn't have it, check it out. Uh, see, it's, it's not as good. If this interests you, but you don't really wanna to commit to a subscription right now, well, the first thousand people to click the Skillshare link in my description below will get a one month free trial to see for yourself if it's for you. Anyway, thank you so much for 167,000 subscribers. Have a good day.